I boom. Well, Drake just dropped a complete surprise out. Guess what kind of beats are on it? That's right, there's two f***ing Jersey beats on it. Do you best believe we are making a video around that? I genuinely can't believe Drake is now jumping on Jersey beats. I've been literally telling people since like last November that this Jersey wave is coming. Anyway, regardless of that, I ain't really feeling the Drake album. Let's be real. There's maybe like three or four songs that I might play during the summer. But today we are going to be definitely referencing the song called Sticky, which is the main Jersey song off the album. But yeah, a little bit off topic of Jersey. I have finally dropped my drill drum fill kit, which contains 50 drum fills for drill and also five gross beat presets my drum fills i mean those fills at the end of every eight bar that make your beat turn crazy if i'm being honest this is probably the most useful kit that i've dropped definitely turns like a meaty drill beat just something pretty sick gonna be a link for that at the very top of the description but apart from that let's get into this jersey club stuff man i'm excited as always this flp will be over on my patreon as well so if you're trying to see how i'm mixing shit you already know head over there you can see everything so the thing is with these jersey beats yeah as far as i can tell from what i've listened to these beats are kind of like separated into like different sections maybe like three or four different sections where they're all pretty similar but there's always some kind of like element changing so normally I have like one section where it's just the melody, but normally the melody in this section is a little bit different to when the melody is playing with drums. Then you have a section where the 808 comes in. Then you have another section where the kick plays and there's no 808. And then you've got like another section that's kind of like a breakdown where you have this kind of like echoey, thumpy kind of kick with some extra like fast percussion in the background and stuff like that. Maybe some vocals as well. So we're going to tackle this beat today and by putting it in kind of like sections. So we're just going to put in like different patterns for each section. Yeah, first things first, let's try and make a melody pretty similar to the one in Sticky by Drake. So to do this, the main melody in Sticky is some kind of like keys or something and also as you can tell it's got like a heavy like side chain or gross beat thing on it but on the intro of it you can hear that's some kind of like pad keys so we're gonna use something like this from analog labs the key of that beat is in a sharp minor so we're gonna stick an a sharp minor as well and if i'm being honest i think we're just gonna do a simple triad like this flip that over again change the last high note maybe put this one up as well like that. Honestly, this is probably gonna be most of the melody. I feel like I want like some kind of like pad, some like wavy pad in the background of this as well. So we're coming into X band. We're taking a preset called Beneath the Waves. And I think we might just copy and paste this in. We might actually just keep the A note. Yeah, something kind of like that. Is my mic on and everything? The levels and all this alright? Yeah, they are. Alright, now we need a vocal. We're gonna put on like a kickstart or a gross beat sidechain kind of feel to it. But we do need a vocal for this. So we are, of course, coming into just the voices in arcade. And I think one of these might be alright. I'm gonna just mess around with one of these. For the intro of this, we might even put like a half time on everything. We just have all these melodies rooted to the same uh, to the same mixer track. We just added a half time. And it's probably going to go into something like that. But we also need to, we didn't do one thing. We need to add in that side chain kind of effect. So to do so, I tried it with Kickstart. I wasn't really feeling that great. We've actually come into gross beat and we've used the half beat gate. Now with the gross beat beat gate on it, it sounds like this. All right, and like I said at the very start, after your first section, you want to go into your second section that brings in an 808. So we are using my Jersey 808. Also, if you want if you want to get any of these sounds, I do have a Jersey drum stash. Basically, everything that I'm going to be using in this video is from the Jersey drum stash. You want to put in the Jersey bounce that goes as follows. It's nearly similar to the drill hi-hats, but it's not really. And then we are just going to copy and paste that over for the full thing. And now we need to get the notes on or in key. So I think A sharp should be all right. Alright, it needs to go up there, so... Once you have this down, you want to, like, raise some of these notes up some octaves, just so it gives it a little bit more rhythm. And with a bit of adjusting, we've added in, like, maybe one little half step on it here. It sounds like this. In Drake's beat, you can also hear that there is like a little two-step pattern in the background. For this, you can use like a hi-hat if you want, but we're using some kind of like chime thing for this by two. I could even make them a little bit wide if I wanted. 
into another section where we're going to replace the 808 and we're going to put in a kick pattern instead. So once again, we're taking one of my jersey kicks and we are throwing down the exact same 808 pattern except I've put in one step just at the very beginning to kind of give it a little bit more of a rhythm. And at the very end here, we might just leave the eight bar blanks. We might actually get rid of them hi-hats there to transition into the next step. So for this, we want to switch up the melody again. So we're going to bring back in the halftime and we're going to bring in this new kick. Added in like a little crown background sound. All right, next, I'm after getting a, a vocal chop from Splice. I think I'm gonna chop it up a bit. I think after the second one, I think we're gonna chop this and leave it like that. Chop it again. Or maybe just on the second part. actually worked like a little double there and we have also grabbed one more vocal loop that sounds like this just in the background but i think i'm gonna put it in like the off sections But after that, it kind of comes back straight back into the 808, I believe. So, I mean, to be honest, this is what I was on about. This is like our four sections. So we have our melody here. We've got our 808 pattern here. Then we've got the kick pattern. Then we've got this part, which is like the breakdown section. And then repeat kick and 808 again. I'm going to arrange it and then I'm going to go through arrangement. All right, so I have the arrangement here. And one thing you will notice at the very bottom is I've added in like a constant white noise, like riser. So it's kind of like this. It's very, very subtle. But it's like a constant kind of like rise in texture that's in the background and it actually kind of helps smooth the beat we have like broke up kind of parts added in a vox in the middle of this as well Actually, yeah, I forgot. I actually layered the kicks in this pattern. So it's kind of giving it a, a lot more punch. Since we got, we've just got the exact same two sections that we have over here. Kind of come into a bridge of the beat. It's basically just like our intro. I'm following the exact same arrangement as Drake's beat. I have a feeling there might be bare people searching up how to make these jersey type beats now because Drake's obviously jumped on it. So, so there might be a few new people watching me. But yeah, apart from that, this was a pretty quick video. Make sure you smash the like button for the jersey wave, man. Also, Demption drum fill kit out now. Top of the description. Go check that. This FLP in my Patreon. Top of the description also. But yeah, run me up on Instagram and Twitch because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Good luck. See you later.